Here's Evelyn Bug. She's 13 months old now. And she's doing all kinds of stuff. Um, we'll first start with her communication. She can pretty much communicate anything to us now, whether it be through um, her words or just in other ways. We pretty much always know what she wants. <laughs> Um, she'll, you know, do something like pull at her jacket because she wants it off, or she will, um, she says up, or, or something. She makes a lot of hand gestures and stuff, so she's doing pretty good with that. Of course, she's always, like, climbing up onto me, so that's why she's so close to the camera right now. But she's learning. She's starting to stand for longer periods of time. Um, but she still, like, will not take any steps or anything. Um, and I think that she knows how. And, like, she wants to walk all the time with somebody holding her hands. But she just will not do it by herself. So what are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? Anyways, um, say hi. Hi. Um, also, she is, um, starting, she has, with her communication, about 20, maybe even 25 words now that she uses correctly and regularly. Um, some of our new ones is please and cracker and she'll say stop it <laughs> and she also a few times now has said I love you or sometimes it's just love you and sometimes she actually says I love you <laughs> yeah I love you <laughs> she likes to open my hand up and give me something, so I'll say thank you. Yeah, she likes to do that. Um, <laughs> other than that, as far as like her schedule goes, she's on a pretty good schedule. Um, she wakes up in the morning, usually around 7, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes eight, um, but even if she wakes up at seven, she plays in her room for a little while before she actually, like, wants us to come in here. So, and then once she wakes up, we usually have breakfast around eight or so, and sometimes we'll have a snack around ten or ten thirty. Sorry, okay. Sometimes she still takes a morning nap, and then... Other times, she will not. So if she takes a morning nap, it's usually right after snack. Like, she'll lay down around 11 and maybe sleep until 12. We have lunch at 12.30 or so. And then if she didn't take a morning nap, she'll lay down right after lunch at about 1. But if she did take a morning nap, then she'll play until about 2 and lay down at 2 for her afternoon nap. So it just depends. And how long she sleeps in the afternoon really depends on her morning nap. Um, she's combing her hair. <laughs> uh, if she took a morning nap, then sometimes she'll only sleep about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. But if she didn't take a morning nap, she'll usually sleep about two hours. So, <laughs> pretty girl brushing your hair. And then... We usually do another snack around 3 or 3.30, or sometimes it's a little later if she sleeps a little later. And then around 5.30 or 6 is when we have dinner, and then she gets a bath every other night. So if she gets a bath, it's at about 6.30, or we start her bedroom routine around 6.30, and then she is in bed by 7, and she's a good little girl. She stays in her bed at night. Now nap times is a different story. Sometimes she likes to try to get out of her bed for nap times. But 
um, at night she always stays in bed and I think it's just because it's darker so she doesn't want to try to get out of bed. <laughs> um, in other news, Stephen came home and so she's enjoying having her daddy back around and she's adjusting to that pretty well. <laughs> and uh, she has a very special bond with her daddy. Uh, she just loves him and she wants to be around him all the time. Um, other things that she really likes is she, she of course, she loves food, any kind of food. She would eat all day long if you let her. <laughs> she loves, um, like, she started really liking stuffed animals and baby dolls. <laughs> and she will, like, take a baby doll and hug it and she'll go, aww. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, <laughs> she's being silly. Sometimes she'll do that. She'll just lay down on the floor, or her very favorite is to lay down on the stairs, and she'll go, aww, or sometimes she'll go, night-night, night-night, Evelyn. Can you say it? She's just looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes she'll say, night-night, and then, um, so she likes that too. She really likes blankets. I don't let her carry around a blanket at all. She only gets blankets at bed. But we do have a couple of fleece blankets that we keep um, in the living room downstairs for like if you want to cover up on the couch or something. So sometimes she'll take those and she likes those. <sighs> but I really don't want her to be like carrying around anything. I just don't like it. So she's not really allowed to do that. Um, she drinks out of only cups now, which she has for a while, but there she drinks out of the straw cups and she really likes them very well. And actually, most other sippy cups she could care less about, so she really messed her hair up while she was trying to comb it. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. So, uh, speaking of her hair, her bangs are so long and like we have gotten them cut a few times and it, <laughs> it just gets pretty expensive and it's getting out of hand and they don't stay cut for or they don't stay short enough for very long so I've decided that we're not going to cut her bangs anymore and that's why I've been pulling her hair back like really close and so only a couple fall down so her hairdos lately have been a little bit different <laughs> But that's because I'm trying to keep her bangs out of her eyes until they grow long enough to where they can just go behind her ears or go up with the rest of her hair or whatever. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Um, other things she loves is books. She'll read a book. She wants you to read a book or she'll just flip through the book. Or if you do read her a book and she's crying, she'll calm down really fast. Or... When the book is over, she'll try to get you to read it again. <laughs> and she likes to take things, like, out of a box or a bin and put them back. So, she, like, she has some blocks. Um, let's see if I can show you. Right there. See, she has blocks in that bin. She loves those bins so much. So, she'll take all those blocks out and then she'll put them all back. And she loves doing that. That is like her absolute favorite thing to do. And she started to actually stack a couple of blocks. So that's good too. And uh, there's just so many new things she's doing. It's awesome. We are so proud of her. So the only thing really that is a tiny bit of a concern is just that she really doesn't have any desire to walk. But... But, like the doctor said, that's going to take a little while, and she's had a lot of adjustments going on lately, so I'm not surprised <laughs> that it's taking her a little longer, so. And now, see, she has her bookshelf. She loves to take her books out. Oh, and she started at night. Um, Stephen will make her put her books back, and she started putting her books back, too, so that's really awesome.
<laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, I think that's about it for her 13 month update. Um, I will try to add a couple pictures on the end of this video. And we will be back for her 14 month update very soon. Thank you, and we will talk to you later. Bye.